YouTube. Today in the Naughty Librarian, I am bringing you a very blue book haul. So I've been picking up a lot of books lately, you know, as I do, and then I realized they were all blue. <laughs> Somehow I managed to pick up all books that were blue or some derivative of blue and it, and it blew my mind. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> So yeah, um, here's a lot of blue books I've picked up recently. Starting things off with light blue, I have Nobody But You by Jill Shalvis. Basically, every time I go to a library book sale, if I find a Jill Shalvis book, I usually grab it. Uh, they're just delightful rom-coms, and they're complete palette cleanser books. They're just silly and light and fluffy and smutty and perfect if I've been reading a lot of, like, dark dramatic stuff and I want just something light and fluffy, these are my go-to books. This is about a former special forces guy who needs to get a clean slate, start over, so he goes back to his small hometown and then he goes to his like lake house and he's like, hey there's a boat dock there, oh there's a lady living in it, there's a lady living at my dock, what is happening? And she is also going through a hard time, she's broken, desperate and living on a boat and then they bang the bejesus out of each other. <laughs> and then, you know, they fall in love and there's a happily ever after in here. But you know what? I, I just want something with a guaranteed happy ending sometimes. There's no like moral ambiguity. It's just two people and the whole drama of their life is like, are they gonna get together or not? <laughs> I want something with really low stakes every once in a while. These are perfect. Slightly darker blue, I have Second Chance Summer by Jill Shalvis. This is actually part of the same series as the other book I just talked about. This is a second chance romance. This one is with Aiden, who I believe is the brother of the Special Forces guy from the other book. And he is a sexy firefighter. <laughs> and there's this woman named Lily, and she is working at this hotel, and they uh, got together like 10 years ago, and he screwed it up and there's a big regret for him, and then now, 10 years later, they are going to get back together because it's a rom-com, so obviously they're gonna get back together. But um, yeah, second chance summer, second chance romance, he's a sexy firefighter. It's got like a lot of things. It's checking off a lot of boxes for me, basically. Next book, kind of minty blue, especially on the back, it's minty blue. I have Animal Attraction, also by Jill Shalvis. I got a whole bunch of Jill Shalvis recently. This is about uh, a sexy veterinarian named Del <laughs> and this woman named Jade who is kind of um, sassy and not so pleasant. Um, it's always women named Jade who are kind of always typecast like that. Is it just me or is every time you see a character named Jade, they have the same personality? Sorry, that's neither here nor there, but that's like a thing to me. Every time I see a Jade, they're the same person. But anyway, he's a sexy veterinarian, and it's a small town in Idaho, and it's a big animal refuge, so he just rescues animals, and there's adorable pets everywhere, and then they fall in love. <laughs> so basically, it's got cute animals, it's got an adorable romance, like, it's got everything. Like, this is just gonna be a bucket of happy. Like, I'm so excited about it. These two next two books were given to me by my friend Delara, also known as Book With No Name on Instagram. I'll put a link down below. And... Delaire is a wonderful human and gave me these two books that I've been wanting for a long time. Again, a very sea, oceany blue is Isle of Blood and Stone by Marika Lucier. And this one I do believe has dragons. JK, I'm not sure if this has dragons in it, but it has a dragon on the cover. So if it doesn't have dragons in it, I'm going to be very upset. In this world, there are these two princes and uh, some time ago they were both murdered by this rival kingdom. And uh, this follows three people whose lives are intimately attached to those murders. And uh, now there's these like treasure maps that keep showing up and they're like, hey, what's this map about? Did those princes really get murdered? No one found the bodies. And they're like, Nancy Drewing this thing. <laughs> so yeah, um, it has a dragon on the cover, but like the blur did not say anything about dragons. So now I am concerned that there are no dragons in this. I will have to read this and find out. But it's still a cool looking book. Like, the end pages are, like, glittery gold. I don't know if that's coming up on camera or not, but, like, I mean, style A+. Plus. A stormy blue book is Roar by Kara Carmack. Kara Carmack is a romance novel author, so this is YA fantasy. It's very kind of a different kind of story for her, but I definitely want to read it mainly because Kara Carmack is, you know, romance. 
This is about a princess named Aurora. She has been groomed to become the ruler for a long time. The only problem is she has not exhibited any of the magic she would need in order to rule because basically I think the magic that runs in her family is that they control storms and I think actually when these people die they turn into storms, they turn into weather, which is kind of a cool concept. And um, there's like a rival prince and she's like, hey, we're getting along, right? And then, oh no, you're a storm hunter. You're gonna kill me. And that's what I think this is about. <laughs> Again, I have not read the blurb very intently, but I do know it's about like magic storms. And like, I think the concept is just really cool. And also it was given to me by my lovely friends. So very excited. I also got a copy of 12 Steps to Normal by Farrah Penn. This is a YA contemporary drama. It's about a girl kind of learning how to be normal again because her father is an alcoholic. But yeah, it's kind of more about like the devastation that alcoholism leaves on the people around the alcoholic because her father went to rehab. She lost her whole life. That was something she was, you know, busy living and enjoying. She lost it all. Father's out of rehab and she's going back to where her old life was, but she's not the same person anymore. So it is a very much a drama character study and I have heard genuinely good things about it. It's not necessarily a book I would pick up, but I have heard good things. So like I, I am giving it like a second look. Like I'm like, maybe, maybe I'll read this. Is Beautiful Periwinkle Blue. I have Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins. This is the sequel to Royals, which just got retitled Prince Charming recently. And it's like pink and fluffy with that book. And this one I'm sure is gonna be blue and fluffy. This is about Flora, who is a princess, and she's at a boarding school. And it's about a girl named Millie who had a horrible breakup in America. So she's like, well, I'm moving to Scotland to go to boarding school because I can't face anybody anymore. So she goes to Scotland, she moves into this boarding school and her roommate is Flora. And I do believe this is an FF romance. So there is a romance between Millie and Flora. And it's just like fluffy rom-com and it's just fun. It's just a fun book to read. So I had to pick it up. I really like the predecessor a lot. So definitely must read. In a very spooky blue tone, I have The Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman. This one has been on my radar for quite some time. It seems genuinely kind of cool. It is by Disney Hyperion though. So it might not be as spooky as I'm thinking it could be. It might be more along the lines of Disney spooky, but I'm okay with it. This one's kind of cool, it's a witchy story. Uh, there's a small town in New York called Four Paths, and it's about uh, three teens in particular, and they are all related to the founding members of this town who were witches. And they are all combating something called the Grey, which is like an interdimensional zone where monsters live that's constantly trying to break into our reality. So they have to like stop that from happening because it's not cool if it does. And then one of these teens is a dummy and like whoopsie doodles, I opened the door to it. So they have to like shut that shit down. <laughs> I don't know, I'm really into it. It's like monsters and witches and like weird other dimensions. So like, I'm so into it. Like, it just seems fun, like a fun read, you know? Also, a big selling point was the blurb on the front was by Claire Legrand, and I genuinely love Claire Legrand, like, to pieces, so if she's writing a blurb for it, I'm gonna trust her judgment. <laughs> so I am excited about this one. With a beautiful cerulean blue, I have Nexus, which is by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. This is the second book in the Androma duology, and you know what? I actually liked Zenith. I am the rare person who actually liked it. I know, I know. It's gotten a lot of bad hype around it, but it wasn't that bad, for real. Like, I think a lot of people heard a bad review and went in thinking it was gonna suck. If you go in hoping for the best, it's actually a pretty fun read. I enjoyed a lot of it. There's a lot of really cool visuals in it. It is kind of silly at points because it is just random sci-fi stuff, but I'm like, that's kind of all sci-fi, really. But anyway, this is the conclusion to it. It has been a very long time since I read Zenith, so I'm I'm kind of like a little shaky on the details, but it is about an all-girl um, crew of space pirates, and they are saving the galaxy. There is this like evil queen, well, 
evil's a hard word. Uh, she's more of an anti-hero, I suppose. She is trying to save her dying planet. And to save her dying planet, she has to conquer another planet for all her people to move into. So, you know, evil to the outside, but good for her people. So, anti-hero. And the way she's going about that is kind of evil because it involves, like, mind control and, like, widespread, like, wiping out of people. I don't know. It's, I don't remember a lot of the strange details in here, but I do remember liking a lot of it. So, I'm sure once I pick this up, I'll get back into the story more. Uh, I did go to the launch party, and they do mention an ice dragon. There's an ice dragon in this. <laughs> so I'm like, ooh, ice dragon in space? Yes! <laughs> like, that sounds awesome. It also sounds ridiculous, but like ridiculous in the best way. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna read it. I actually like seeing it, whatever. I don't care. I liked it. Holy shit, I finally have We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Fazio. This is legitimately one of my top books for 2019. Like, I had to have it. I'm so excited I own it right now. I got the special edition from Owl Crate because I knew it came signed, and I really wanted a signed edition. So I'm so excited I have it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited I have it! <laughs> it's kind of loosely based on a fictional ancient Arabia. We have a girl named Safira who disguises herself as a man in order to kind of be like a Robin Hood type figure. And if people found out she was a woman, she would immediately be vilified. But if she pretends to be a man, everyone thinks this is a man doing it, hero. So there's like a whole thing to unload there about the story. And her counterpart is uh, Nasir, who is um, AKA the Prince of Death. He basically is an executioner for his father, who is like a tyrant. And he doesn't really want to be doing that, and I assume these two join forces at some point in here. But, I mean, they had me at Ancient Arabia. Like, I'm so into Arabian stories right now. I find them endlessly fascinating and interesting. And, yeah, I, I have been, like, dying to have this book for so long. You don't even know how long. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So, I finally have it. I love it. I love it so much. I can't wait to read it. Isn't it weird how all of those books were blue? Like, they're all blue. <laughs> so I had to wear a blue shirt. I, they don't make blue wine, thank goodness, because that'd be gross, but blue. Everything is blue. Let me know in the comments down below, what is your favorite blue book? It doesn't have to be one of these, it could be any book that is blue, what is your favorite? If you like this video, make sure you give it a like, and if you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!